In the previous exercise, we have connect SQLite database into Android application. Today, we are going to modify the previous exercise. We are going to insert data into Firebase. So let us modify this uh, program. So first, you have to connect the database into Firebase. You can click Tools, yeah, Firebase here, like this. Uh, and then you can uh, select real-time database okay then you have to connect it yeah, and add the real-time database to your application and then you need to configure your rules for public access okay you can go to the console here Okay, uh, you can select this database. Yeah. Okay. You can click the database. Select real time database. And you can select uh, the rules. Yeah. Okay. In this rules, we we have modified read equal to true and write equal to true. So next one, uh, you have to click the project setting here. Yeah. Okay. And then you can download the Google Service .json. Save it. Back to Android application here. And you drag the Google service.json into the application here. Okay, here. I'm going to drop it under application like this. And click OK. Uh, you can override okay okay next one uh, you need to create a class uh, a new class yeah, for example here uh, I'm going to create the purchase item class okay uh, in this class yeah we are going to set and get the data uh, and this data will be pushed into the Firebase so you can type a private string uh, item name if you're going to store the item name uh, we are price item and also quantity So, next one, right click and click generate and select the constructor. Okay, uh, we are going to create a class purchase item here. And then you can right click again, select the generate and Select getter and setter. Then you select three items here. Okay. Then open the second activity. In this second activity, if you remember uh, in the previous uh, exercise, okay. Once the user click add card the data will be stored into database 
Uh, in the previous one, we stored it into SQLite. Now, we are going to store into Firebase. So, we go to the second activity, the Java here. And then, you can uh, initialize the purchase item class. You can type uh, purchase item and also the database reference. We are looking the button set on click listener okay. in this one. Okay. okay, inside the button dot set on click listener. Okay, here how to insert the data into SQLite database. Now I'm going to remove it. Yeah, and this one same. Okay. Here we have to call the class you can type uh, purchase item equal to new purchase item and also the uh, database reference yeah, equal to dot uh, we are going to use the get instance method yeah and this is the class okay semicolon okay inside the button set on click listener we can set the item name so we can call the purchase item dot set item name and we are going to pass the data that we want to set into the purchase item the class here so the first data here is uh, data one one uh, this is a string one and the second is a floating number so and we can set a price item so we are going to save it here Float dot uh, value of and data two like this, and the last data is the quantity. So we can call purchase item set quantity, and this is a integer dot value of. Because this this quantity uh, is an edit text, so we can type uh, get text dot two string. Okay. We are going to set value the purchase item by using my uh, reference dot push dot set value. Purchase item. So we have to remove this one. We can pop up a misses. The result you can run the application okay let's say we are going to add this item so let's say the data is uh, 66 inserted successfully so we can check into the database
database here. Select database. Okay, uh, this is the data. Okay, this is the data successful. So the data has been inserted into the uh, Firebase. Okay, thank you for watching. Uh, see you next video.